Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of Furry Friends TV. Today we've got Frankie, he's a French Bulldog and he is a malting machine and I come here every three weeks and give him a full D shed and a wash and blow dry, cut his nails, clean his ears and perfume in a dog treat. He's really, really cute and, and loves it. He, he gets super excited when I turn up. Um, the amount of malting hair that comes off this dog is unreal. It's, it, it, it matches like a German Shepherd, like it, it, it malts all year round. Um, super sensitive with the ears, definitely can't get any water in their ear canal. We'll just give them a little clean out now. And then what I do is I actually put cotton wool buds in his ears to make sure he doesn't get any um, Make sure he doesn't get any water in his ear canal. He's got big giant ears, so we just take half a cotton bud here. And then we just just leave it at the entrance there. Just to soak up any water that might enter the ear canal. We're definitely careful with the bathing when we wash these dogs. With the spray around the face. Um he tends to move around a little bit, so we, we do the cotton wool buds every time just to make sure. Um, I've already cut his nails today, but normally it's just the dew claws. With this guy, he, he gets a lot of concrete time and gets lots of walks and stuff, so it's, it's just the inside ones that we've done today. And he loves the treat too, he's, he's looking out for the treats. You do have to be careful with the bulldogs on what treats you give them. They do have a, a funny jaw and, and, and they can choke and, and, and stuff, so you have to give them the soft, soft gooey stuff. Um, and we're ready for the bath. Let's go. Gonna use some de-shedding shampoo today, some whitening shampoo, just to spruce him up and help the hot water and the soap will um, loosen up all that dead hair. And you'll see at the end after the blow dry when I just rubbing with my hands how much comes off. We've already sanitized the bath and cleaned the pipe. Everything's ready to go for him. Just fill it up with some warm water. <laughs> He's looking for treats, I know buddy. You gotta wait, but we gotta wait. You've already had enough. Just my conditioning, uh, my de-shedding shampoo. And then I put some um, Coconut two-in-one shampoo on him as well. De-shedding just gets in there and really helps loosen up that hair. And I'll just stick some whitening shampoo on top just to give him that extra spruce. Rub that in. Check the water's nice and warm. I know, buddy, you just gotta wait. I know, what are you trying to do? You really want to just massage as much of that these shedding shampoo in as much as it can. We are using a hydro bath setup today, so it'll recycle through the pump. It'll allow me to massage it all over his skin. I'll finish him up with some conditioner at the end, so it's nice and soft. They normally have a corkscrew tail as well. So make sure you lift the sail and clean properly around the back end. <laughs> he just wants to get on the table because he knows that's where the treats are. I don't really give him treats when he's in the bar. These owners are amazing. He's having landed in a, in a great home. He, he gets top care at this place. Super luxurious. So, see, I almost got his ear then. So luckily we got those cotton wool buds in just to protect in case there's any accidents. They tend to move a lot. Good boy, other side. You got the, you know him, bud. You're okay. I know, I know, I'm going as fast as I can. A little bit more. No, this side please, thank you. Oh, I know, that's why we close the itch. That's why he follows the ear canal. But as you can see, he moves around a lot. That's why we do the uh, cotton wool bud. It's just a bit safer. You don't want the customer to ring you up the next day and say, you know, my dog's got an ear infection from the bath and 
There, so cotton wool bud, the little tip there. All right. Drain that grey water and rinse with nice fresh warm water. He's just licked that cotton earbud out of his ear, but that's all right. So we're just going to rinse now. All right, all right. You can't eat that one, mate. Don't move now your cotton earbuds are out. Good boy. Don't do it. I'm going to close that ear hole. Do behind his neck. With his face, I tend to just cover his ear and just quickly go on his face like that. We'll end up cleaning the fat rolls on his face with wet wipes anyway. Um, I just put some shampoo and water on his face, but too close to his ear and uh, I'm just trying to protect him from ear infections. So how we deal with that one? Oh, I know, mate, I know, it's very exciting. He knows the routine so well that he uh, has a go at me. Oh, Let's me know when I'm, you know, being slow or lagging behind. <laughs> oh, gotcha. You ready? Just relax, mate. You ready? I know. Ready? One, two, three, jump. Good boy. All right. Do the swap side now. So we'll towel dry as much as possible. He's really looking for them treats. <laughs> so with him, I just give him little baby pieces of broken up flat liver. Don't give him anything too big because they tend to uh, choke and vomit a lot. The bulldogs are also like super snorers. They snore really sometimes while they're awake. So. <laughs> Good boy. Let's put that happy hoodie on and cover his ear. He's pretty good with the blow dryer, but most French bullies just move around a lot. I don't really have many that stand there and let you do what they gotta do. It's not his favorite part, the blow dryer, but definitely the most important part. This owner wants me to come around every three weeks and de-shed because his molting hair goes all over the house. You'll see what it's like at the end. There's a lot of hair that comes out of this little guy. Dog with white hair, malt more. Um, the white hair actually adds half the lifespan of brindle and dark coloured hair. So careful when you buy a white dog. They malt all year round. Oh yeah, hey, no. Oh yeah. This one's so bad. Where are you going? Oh, no, you want to rub your face. All right, all right. No, 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 no. Okay, is that all right? We have to keep this on, buddy. <laughs> Frankie's uh, built like a little muscle machine. He's in very good position. A lot of these dogs get a bit plump and overweight and skin problems and ear problems and stuff like that. This family has done their time figuring out what foods work with him best and it's good for his coat and his ears and stuff. As soon as they uh, change the food, they'll know straight away by his coat, his weight, his ears, whether or not that food works for him. A lot of these food dogs have food allergies, so the best way to, to, to find out what works for your dog is just feed your dog the same food for two weeks. See how their skin reacts and then he's, he's trying to get this off, isn't he? I just want your ears covered, buddy. Thank you. I know, I know. Don't like it, but... As I said, he moves around a lot. Now that he's got the hoodie off, he's just going to go around and around in circles, but we have tie up for all that, you okay? Is that good as that? 
Holy oh, oh boy. It's all right. Hmm. I gotcha, I gotcha, I gotcha. All right, now we've got him super dry. He obviously doesn't like it around the ears too much, so he'll rub his head on the towel a lot, which is fine. We just want to dry him up as much as possible, then we'll take this off, and I'll show you how we, or how I do it anyway. Just to get the hair loose. You did good, you did good. You can sit. Yeah, well, he definitely does shake. <laughs> I don't know. Stop it. Just little bits. All right, all right. Now we just want to, with our bare hands, just start brushing forward. You can use a rubber glove as well. I find if you have a dog like this at home, just get some rubber dishwashing, cheap rubber dishwashing gloves, wet the gloves, keep the dog dry, and just brush against the grain like this and it just lifts up any hair that you've missed. The blow dryer gets rid of most of it. Today he's actually not shedding as much as he normally does, but he's super soft. And he's all nice and clean, no skin irritations and rashes or nothing like that. He's in great nick. A lot of these dogs have skin problems. Oh, oh, he's a good boy. Just want to make sure we get off as much dead hair as possible. The customer doesn't like it all through their house and stuff. Good boy. Probably can't see it because he's sitting on a white towel and there's hair coming off everywhere. Good boy. So if you make you smell pretty. I know you're, a, you're not a fan. There you go. Hold on. Yes, we'll have more lollies. He loves this part of it. He doesn't move around for this part. He'll lie down and let me do this all day. Loves the bum scratch. Just wanna make sure we loosen up all that dead hair. You all done? You all happy? What color are we gonna go today, mate? Green? Yeah, this one? Oh, okay, this is one. This is his color. Today, anyway. <laughs> A nice fancy bow tie. All right, all right, I know, I know, it's very exciting. And that's it for Frankie today, guys. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe for more. He's a beautiful Frenchie. You ready, buddy? I always know how to squeeze more treats out of me. Okay. Thanks for watching. See you soon. Thank you. Bye for now.